Yes, that explosion of new retail investors in the market is raising some questions about risk, financial literacy, and whether retail trading platforms need to do a better job educating their users. This is coming into focus even more after the rise and fall of stocks like GameStop. Joining us right now to talk about this is John Hope Bryant. He's the founder and CEO of Operation Hope. And John, I know you've spent some significant time kind of digging into this and, and trying to come up with some solutions for, for what you think is a big problem. Uh, yes, yeah, thanks for having me this morning, Becky and the team. Um, I think we're sitting in a moment in history right now. You know, history re rarely feels hi historic when you're sitting in it. It just sort of feels like another day. But when you combine the mortgage prices of 2009, which took a minute to percolate, which was about the debt uh, of people who really didn't understand the agreements they were going into, and you provide this moment, which is about equities, uh, and folks who really, once again, don't really know what they're getting into, I really think it makes a case for financial literacy as a new civil rights issue of this generation. Uh, as important in many ways as the right to vote was in the 1960s. You know, as important to what you do, you all do as, you know, a driver's license uh, in the equities market. We, we should not be, in my opinion, Becky, um, this should not be a private card game in Monaco <laughs> with unique information for unique players. Uh, this should not be uh, a public you know, slot machine in Las Vegas. I keep reminding people Las Vegas keeps getting bigger every year, even though a few people win, uh, where folks think that this is gambling. And this shouldn't be a kid in his room uh, gaming and calling it investing. This is the proper formation of capital. <laughs> you know, this is, this is the American way. And, and we should treat it as such. And we should give people at the bottom an opportunity to come up and not just squeeze them in the middle. And I think what happened with GameStop, and I think to a certain degree we're piling too much on one company and suggesting that one company is a problem here. And really the whole industry, I think, needs to put on the white hat here and self-police themselves because no one's providing financial literacy education to their customers. Um, mm -hmm. I think this also proves that technology alone is not enough people uh, it's to the point of customer service and, somebody, and talking to somebody, which is what we do at Operation Hope with financial coaching, is really important. We raise credit scores 50 points for people in six months because we talk to them and engage with them and understand their situation, and we use technology to do it. But it's still about the people. Yeah, I, I think that's a key part. John, in, in the steps that you've kind of laid out for what you think should be a plan for these brokerages to take, I, I'd put them into two categories, either financial literacy on the one hand or um, transparency uh, on the other hand in, in terms of that. You want to start with some of the financial literacy things that you think the brokerages should be doing? Yeah, I, we call it, I, I sort of, we sort of call it the Operation Hope Investor Bill of Rights. Um, it's a, a 10 point plan. Um, and I think the industry should fund free financial education uh, for all consumer investors uh, in the case of Wall Street, uh, on Main Street for all banking customers. Uh, I think that we should embed this. Don't make it public affairs. Don't make it community affairs. Don't make it PR. Uh, put this right in the middle of your business plan, which is point number 10, by the way. It's part of the business plan. But embed this um, into the customer acquisition process. It doesn't have to slow anything down. Uh, but give somebody an off-ramp. Let them uh, stop, ask them key questions about whether they understand what they're getting into. You can do this very quickly. If they're, if they're stumped, if they're curious, if they, if, if, if they believe this is a, you know, a, a, a flight to heaven with, with no stops and there's guaranteed success, stop. Because that's not Wall Street. That's not investing. There are risks. And then let them talk to a coach, Operation Hope, or somebody else who's qualified. Uh, then they can come back to the transaction. Doesn't have to slow anything down. Uh, and then let's give them some inspiration and some motivation. Let's do some video engagement at the front of this process. Walk them through uh, the fact that this is serious and don't bet your rent, mo your rent money, including on Bitcoin, <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. by the way. Um, and, uh, and then th I think in, in, at some point there needs to be an opportunity for somebody to walk away or double down uh, on their, their desire to invest right now. And I think you're going to have a more responsible investor. I think you're going to have uh, an educated investor, somebody who, if they mess up, look, uh, to, I think Joe will love this. If somebody is educated and they, and they lose it all, that's Wall Street. That's, that's business. But let's make sure that it, it's not, it, that is not what people don't know that they don't know that's killing them, but they think they know. And then I, and I actually borrowed a couple of comments from Andrew on transparency. He wrote a great piece last week on what the industry can do on the transparency side. Uh, why go to a private meeting and get private information and not have that disclosed 
uh, on your website. If you go meet with management, just disclose it so that nobody accuses you of insider information. Um, so don't let's stop manipulating the market and give people an opportunity to come up because we're because my rich friends need my poor friends to do better if only to stay rich. And we need the poor to come up because that is the American way. So it's a 10 point plan. You put it on your screen so I won't walk through each of the items. But essentially it's, it's giving people basic financial literacy education, investor education uh, at the, at the uh, client account creation and, and transaction beginning process. And at every step of the way, there's a chance for people to get off the Ferris wheel if they're uncomfortable. So that, again, we're raising up new American builders. Um, and I think that will go a long way to adding sustainable GDP to this country. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.